I'm not a fist fighting guy anymore, but I, am, I guess I should say I am a knife fighting guy because I ain't getting in no more fist fights. And so <clears throat> this is what we teach our guys, the short course. If a guy's getting in a fist fight or a knife fight and he holds his knife like this, what he is, he can jab, he can try to slash with it. But, don't cut me. I'm not an expert at this. I'm not even going to, don't critique this as the real way to do it. But it's possible to block that one way or another. He can, but he can work my thumb and, and get it out. But it's possible that, see, I can get a hold of his wrist. Now, go ahead and bend around and it's going to be hard for him to do anything if I can control that wrist. Don't do that. Blade out. Now you should be able to bring that thing around over my wrist, work my thumb, or work it around and, and do something with it. Plus, if he came out with it, a shorter one up against his wrist, I may have a hard time just grabbing it. I might grab a handful of knife. Put that in the back. Okay. Here it is. Whatever you think you might disable my wrist, mm -hmm. get a hold of it. You can't do that like this. You can do it like this. You can keep it concealed like this. When you come in and, you know, that's one thing. What we teach our guys is to make contact. Get a hold of them, head down. He can start throwing some punches. He can start trying to do what he can. He can try to disable me here. Can't do it. And you make contact and you unzip him. And you, you work that puppy up back across in. And you just fillet him. The only problem you ever have if you catch a belt buckle. So you come in. A belt buckle. If he's got armor on, don't even mess with that. You go high. And what it is, you're tight and you're, you're in here. He, he, I'm sure there's martial arts guys here who would kick my ass for me right now. And I understand that. But for a generally unskilled person, it is very hard to take that out of my hand. It's very hard to stop me from using that. And you're going to do a lot more damage oh, than I can do. If, now, if I've got your knife, I can try to... Yep. You know, to push it off. But it may not be, you may not have knife, you may or you may not. I can come in and just try to keep it down. Mm -hmm. I might get cut. But if I keep it away, you can uh, let's see, can you get a hold of me? Can you keep me from pushing that? No. No, nope, not really. Oh, are you kidding? No. <laughs> Ain't no way. No. He, he cannot work my thumb. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Work your thumb. Like this. Twist it out of your thumb. That's how you take a guy's gun. You work the thumb. There ain't no freaking thumb to work. Come up with it. All right, that's the last of my BS. If, if this doesn't give you nightmares, nothing will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know we got a little bit off of, of uh, terminal ballistics and weapons capabilities, but nobody told me not to talk about knives. Any questions, comments, input? Thank you very much for your cooperation. Say again? Hey, you're, to not have a knife on you is just not smart to me. Women, you, you want to get in a fist fight? I'd say hell no. I'd say hell no. It's called a care, but it's just a little, it's an, this is $12. If I don't stab myself back in, it comes out quick. Yes, ma'am. When you're in close proximity and you're using 
Yes, I am. Her question was, and I'm in close proximity, am I standing back stabbing? No, I'm not. I'm, you, you know how you win a fight? I ain't Muhammad Ali. I don't box. I box, I get my butt kicked. I've got other things to do. Big guy like this, step forward, big man. Come on, use you for a training aid. Yes. <laughs> First of all, I hope all I ever hear is whoosh. <laughs> this is about women to some men. He, now, I'm not going to overpower him. I am not going to outmuscle him. There's no way. If we get into any kind of altercation where he can put some kind of heat on me, and by getting in close and grabbing and holding on, I also limit his ability to, to use his lower extremity. Now, these big flipping damn paws would probably tear my head off. But he would, it would hurt. It would hurt. And so down here and coming in tight, you get inside him. See, I'm not outside his arm. I'm inside his arm. I don't, he, can, he can do something, but he's got about two seconds to do it. And it's up on him and you're working out. And you got your head down. You're not giving him a target. That's a big cranium vault. You know, can I buy you a beer and then leave? Because <laughs> I don't want you drinking around me. <laughs> so, you don't win a fight like this. You can win a fight running away. Rule number, that's first choice. It's first choice. But when you can't run away, the, the, your only choice is to win. You don't win by that skill, that speed, that's agility, that strength. I have very little of any of that left. The only weapon I have I carry with me is my mouth. So if that person tries to pull away from you, do you hold on? Yes, you do. She, her question was if they try to pull away, yeah. You get contact. You grab a roll of fat. You get an ear. Well, ears work good. You roll up in their clothes. The hardest person to fight would be a greased guy, naked. <laughs> That'd be the hardest. There's nothing to hold on to. Now, with his shirt, he might pull and pull that shirt away. I would suffer damage. I, I you know, I wouldn't. I would. I'd be limping home. I wouldn't be, you know. Uh, a little red riding hood going to see grandma. But I'd go home. He'd be going home horizontal. Big guys like that, the lower and the little you are, actually the better. Question, where's the question? Sir. The, uh, the knife that you were carrying with the, uh, the holster, is that a combo with the, with the pistol holster that you have? No, it's just another little little knife that I just shoved in there and tied on with a piece of string because I didn't like on the first one. I don't want the whole flipping scabbard to come out. That don't, that don't go good. Also, with a reverse grip, you really don't want a knife that long. You want something that can't be levered and taken from you. <laughs> 